I'm Brian Preary, tutoring high school chemistry. Today's topic is redox reactions. Redox is a word that combines reduction and oxidation. Reduction is the gain of electrons, and oxidation is its loss. The reason we stick them together is, one, it's a whole lot to say both of them at the same time, and also because they occur together. You can't have a gain of electrons without having a loss first. Otherwise, you just have electrons floating around in free space, and that doesn't happen. You'll see redox every day when you put batteries into your remote control, or the one in your car. One co compound in that battery will lose electrons, and the other one will gain it. The resulting flow will power your radio or your remote so you can watch TV. There are two ways to remember this relationship, the mnemonic oil rig or the mnemonic Leo says Gert. In oil rig, oxidation is loss, reduction is gain. Leo says Gert. Loss equals oxidation, gain is reduction. So let me show this to you in a redox reaction. Fe plus 2HCl yields FeCl2 and H2. Well, let's break it down. Two of these compounds are, ion are ionic, HCl. That's 2H plus ions and 2Cl minus ions put together. And FeCl2, that's an Fe2 plus ion and 2Cl minus ions. Well, what happened? Our Fe over here was uncharged, and over here something's got a 2 plus charge. Also back here, our, we had an H plus ion. It became regular H. What happened? That's redox. One of them gained electrons, the other one lost it. Well, Fe had to be the one losing electrons, because it got a positive charge. We can write out a half reaction for that here. Fe yields Fe2 plus and two electrons. Losing two electrons means it'll have two more protons than electrons for a total two plus charge. That's oxidation, remember, because that's a loss of electrons. Also, Fe is called the reducing agent. Why? because it gave out electrons which will reduce something else. Hydrogen, in fact. Let's turn over there. In order to become completely neutral, hydrogen needs to gain one electron to cancel out its one positive charge. So like down here, H plus plus an, plus an electron goes to H. Reduction, again. This is called the oxidizing agent because it'll take electrons away from something else, thereby oxidizing it. In fact, we can combine the two into a bigger reaction. See. We need two electrons to come away from Fe, and we need two electrons to put into the two H's. So, all we, so we can write that out down here. Fe plus 2H plus goes to Fe, Fe2 plus and H2. See, what happened here was the two electrons from here went into your 2H pluses, making it neutral and making this a 2 plus ion, which then combined with your Cl minus. Okay, to recap. Redox is a word combining reduction and oxidation. Reduction is a gain of electrons, oxidation is a loss. Remember it using either of these new marks. In a redox chemical reaction, break it down into ions so you can see what happened to the charges. Figure out which one lost electrons, that's where oxidation occurred, and the compound itself is the reducing agent, and which one gained electrons, that was reduction, and the compound that lost them, that's the oxidizing agent. So. Just remember, make sure you know where all your electrons are coming from and where they're going. That's all for now. Again, I'm Brian Freer. See you next time.